On each of 705 days since Russia widened its war on Ukraine, Russian forces on average have lost, destroyed, abandoned or captured 19 tanks, fighting vehicles, howitzers or other heavy weapons, according to Forbes. The obvious question is whether this loss rate is sustainable for the Kremlin. The obvious answer is, no. As production of new armored vehicles continues to lag, the Russians still mostly ride in older Cold War vintage vehicles they've pulled out of long-term storage the publication says. These reserves are finite. One analyst who goes by Heimost Scour's satellite imagery in order to track Russia's stocks of old vehicles. In December, they concluded the Kremlin had reactivated 1,081 of its pre-war inventory of 4,811 old BMP fighting vehicles, but of the remaining 3,730, at least 765 were visible broken beyond repair. Forbes says that in 2022 and 2023, according to the analysts at Oryx, the Russians lost around 80 BMPs a month. If that rate of loss had continued into 2024, while production of new BMPs also remained steady at between 30 and 40 a month, the Kremlin would have run out of fighting vehicles in two years or so. Say, early 2026. The problem, of course, if that so far this year the Russians are losing more and more vehicles, faster than ever. That implies a monthly loss rate for BMPs approaching 400. Five times the rate we observed in 2022 and 2023. At the current rate, Russia doesn't have a two-year reserve of fighting vehicles. No, it has maybe a six-month reserve. The uptick in losses to levels that are far beyond sustainable for Russian forces also is evident among tanks and APCs, 